Hey everyone, how's it going? Just want to show you a project that I've been working on. Uh, I'm calling this the DC Smart Meter. So what I'm planning to use this for is um, instead of using those um, marine uh, blade style DC um, call them circuit breakers, I guess, or panel panel meters. Um, I'm kind of making one that's smart. So we still have the blade fuses um, as a redundancy, um, 25 amp max per, per slot. We have six of them. And then you also have the ability to switch them on and off. So you have these back-to-back -back FET switches um, being controlled by an ESP32 Pico um, with a 12-bit uh, ADC, A channel. Uh, and then I have this FRAM uh, EEPROM that I'll be using to store calibration files and whatnot. Uh, another feature too is I have each, uh, I guess, breaker or a, each circuit, you have a bi-directional current sensor that can handle up to 31 plus or minus. Um, so negative 31 or plus 31 uh, amps um, in each direction. And so you'll be able to monitor uh, each circuit leg um, to see what your loads are doing and also since these are bi-directional switch uh, FET switches uh, another thing that I'm going to use it for is um, one of my BMS projects I have uh, a negative load and a negative charge so instead of having charge and discharge on the same um, negative leg. I, I kind of switch them up and have one leg for charging and one for uh, one for discharging. So that gives me an ability to protect my um, battery. If let's say I over discharge, then I cut off my load, uh, so um, it's locked. Nothing can discharge from it, but I can still charge. So it leaves it uh, allows me to be more autonomous with it, um, not have to worry about it. So let's say overnight. It discharges to to the cutoff voltage. Well, um, it shuts off, so the the FET closes or uh, opens. No current flows to the loads. Um, and the morning comes, the sun's out, solar charge controllers on, starts charging the battery. I don't have to worry about resetting the switch. Um, so here I can tie batteries and link them all together to a single uh, input. So the benefit of this is I can tie uh, multiple batteries to be charged um, and feed them, uh, connect them all here, solar charge controller. Um, or if I want to feed multiple batteries in parallel, I can add them here and feed this way to loads. Um, so I can have more batteries in parallel and have this be the load uh, that it connects to. So it's very versatile. These uh, lugs are M5 and they can handle up to 160 amps, I believe. Uh, I'm still working on uh, this main leg here, right? This, uh, I added a copper bus bar, um, but I'm working on doing some, some calc to see how wide and how many layers I need. So right now this is only a four layer and only the top layer is using uh, the VN bus. Um, I have circuits underneath so I didn't have the ability to run multiple layers but you can see I have some parts here that are not what the footprint show so all this footprint section will be gone and just these parts will be there so it frees up some space so there's a chance I'll be able to add all four layers of VN without having to add the separate bus um, so I'll do some quick calc to see how much current and if not I can add expose the solder mass, add more uh, solder. Worst case, I can add a 8 gauge or even smaller, probably 12 gauge um, twisted bare copper and just solder on top and that should be sufficient. But yeah, key stay. Um, I'll be hoping to try to make a series out of this. So right now this is just hardware. I haven't done any software on it yet. Um, I'll be doing testing, getting basic functions working in if this turns out to be something that um, people like, I'll, I can post a, 
the source code and the hardware schematics. I use KiCad to design all this uh, on my, I'll post it on my GitHub. Um, but, oh, another cool thing is since I'm using the ESP32 Pico, I'm planning to do uh, InfluxDB um, self-hosted. So I'll be able to transfer all that data um, and log it and I can look back to see, for example, if I'm using this as a, as a load bus, a uh, load uh, uh, breaker. I have my, my source here, the battery, and then I can see how much each circuit is, is being used. Uh, and I can graph that, log that, and vice versa. If I'm, I have this where uh, I have multiple batteries in parallel, I can see how much solar goes to each battery. So it's pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, thank you.